It's always a good idea before you back up your files to organize and delete the ones you no longer need. So here I am in iPhoto and I found this Maine's Birthday 2012. Now this is an event that happens every single year so I don't necessarily need it. So I could click on photos and move the event to trash. Or if I want to keep certain photos in this event and only delete a few, I can double click the event and then select the photos I wish to delete and click on photos, move to trash. But since I said this is something that happens every year, I don't necessarily need this and the photos I want to keep are already on the web. So I'm going to click on photos, move to trash. Now they've gone to my iPhoto trash, so I click on the trash on the left and here they all are. I need to empty the trash, which will delete these permanently from my machine. This may take a while, so I'm going to speed up the process. Okay, so now that my trash is empty, I want to look at other elements, such as my slideshows. So I want to delete the slideshows I no longer need anymore, like Immigration Day and Fairy Tale Ball, things that'll happen every single year, so that I can save room before I go ahead and back up my iPhoto library. So now that I'm finished um, emptying my trash and getting rid of anything I don't need, I can go ahead and quit iPhoto and get ready to back up. For more tech tips, just go to Mr. Lawson's website, click on Teachers, and then Tech Tip.